Pisces, hello, welcome to whew, your March 2023 tarot reading. I hope you're well. Whilst I cleanse the space, Pisces, please remember that this is a general reading. It won't resonate for everybody, but if it does, please remember to give the video a like. And of course, if you haven't already, then subscribe so I have more beautiful Pisces energy to work with. Now, let's jump straight in. I've pre pulled your energy oracles for past, present, future. We're going to talk about that. Then we'll dive deeper in with the tarot, followed by your love messages and your advice, okay? So, recent past energy, beautiful. We have uh, community. And what I'm picking up from this card, Pisces, is that in the recent past, um, you've, how can I say this? You've established a really beautiful team of supporters, of friends. I feel like, Whatever you've been going through, you've had some really supportive souls around you is what I want to say. Okay, it's going to be different for everybody, right? Only take what resonates and apply it how it fits. But let me read this card for you. It's a really nice energy that I'm getting from this. It's like, you know, when you fall into hard times or, you know, you're just going through something and you really need your team around you, need that group of people who keep you strong. That's what I'm getting from this. Let me read it for you. <clears throat> this card shows three women celebrating sharing ideas and supportive energy the lights in the picture represent your ever-present spirit community as well when this card appears upright it indicates an association of some kind it may be a casual connection of like-minded people joining a club or community of some sort or even a business partnership consisting of three or more entities the time is right to make such new connections and to share intentions, whether they're personal or professional. Networking and community are important parts of the human experience and the security and sense of connection can be beneficial to all. It's true that when several people join their intentions, it accelerates their power in the energetic realm. Receiving this card puts you on notice that the universe is sending some beneficial alliances your way. Like the happy family card, this could also indicate a party or celebration of some kind. Okay, so I'm strongly, I really feel like for the vast majority of you, this is the universe has sent, like it said, some beneficial alliances your way. People who are going to be able to support you through whatever you're going through. Um, or just support you in life, right? Just be your cheerleader, just be your biggest supporters. It's really, really beautiful. So I'm happy to hear that, Pisces. And if that hasn't come in yet, be on the lookout for that, okay? Now, in the present energy, we have caring connections in reverse, okay? Which is why I feel like you've needed this community of supporters because in the current energy, there is some kind of ending or, um, you know, problems, within a connection between you and one other person, okay? I'm gonna read this for you as well. Uh, 14, 44. <clears throat> this card reverse signals a break in communication or a parting of the ways for two people. Whether romantic, social, or business, the present connection seems to be at or close to an end. If this is the case, consider what healthy action needs to be taken to move on. As difficult as a parting may be, it can often lead to bigger and better things. Keep in mind both the logistical and emotional aspects of leaving this connection behind. Make plans, vent your feelings, and always remember that with every ending, a new beginning is at hand. Okay, I hope that alone brings you some comfort. And... I really do feel this for you, Pisces, that this connection coming to an end absolutely leads to bigger and better because in the near future, we have appreciation, okay? And I'm really getting a nice energy from this card. What I'm actually picking up from this is that in the near future, you will look back on this situation in hindsight and actually be grateful that it ended. And that's just something I'm feeling intuitively. I'm going to read that for you as well. And even if that's not the case, Pisces, it's like when you go through this, you realize how much um, other, how many other blessings you have in your life to be grateful for. These people right here, right? So many other things. It kind of like wakes you up to all that you have to appreciate. Let me read it for you. 
This card shows a woman holding a single rose. She enjoys the scent and beauty of the single blossom, yet around and behind her are bramble bushes, right? She could be focusing on these, worried that she might get caught up in their prickly branches of difficulty, but instead she's pausing to experience the blessing of this single flower. The sun is breaking through the clouds, shining on her choice and on the tiny buds waiting to open up. This card upright is telling you that you have much to be grateful for and like the flowering bush behind the woman on the card, there is more to come that you can't see yet. Congratulate yourself for every moment that you choose appreciation. This decision shifts your consciousness from lack to value and it's guaranteed to bring more worth and richness of life to you beautiful let's dive into these energies with the tarot but that's what i'm getting overall pisces only take what resonates but i feel like something is coming to an end in the present or it's having some difficulties you have a beautiful support system around you and i do feel that in the near future you will look back at this and realize that you actually feel grateful that it ended um or, you know, you just feel grateful for all the other blessings in your life that you maybe didn't appreciate as much before. And um, there's more to come that you're not even aware of yet. So we'll dive into that in a moment. Let's get into this um, caring connections in reverse. <clears throat> Pisces. Please let me know if the, in the comments if this resonates for you, Pisces. I love to hear your stories and it's nice for everybody to, you know, support each other. <clears throat> Pisces. Tell me about this caring connections in reverse energy, please. For Pisces, clear, concise messages. Pisces, yeah. It's ending. I don't think this is something that's completely done yet. We have death in reverse. Okay, if it is, then somebody is having a very hard time letting this go. It's not, it's either not over or it's not over for someone in someone's mind. Someone's having a very hard time moving forward from this, right? You or them. Mm, tell me more, please. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Or a Libra. Yeah, I strongly feel that this is this person's energy. I think your person is having a hard time letting you go, Pisces, okay? Because we have the Empress here and I'm feeling intuitively that, that this is your energy. I feel like you are kind of finding yourself again, right? Um, caring for yourself again, showing yourself love again. For some of you, you're glowing up. You're looking very, very beautiful <laughs> these days. And um, this person's having a hard time accepting that this is over. Four of Wands in reverse. I feel like this has been unhappy for some time, though. I do. For some of you, if this is not talking about a romantic connection, then it's a family member. Okay. For some of you, I'm getting that um, someone is needing to move out of the home and that's what they're struggling to do. Mm. But look, bottom of the deck, the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like this is going to be good for you, Pisces. I do. Yeah, because there's a lot of conflict within this connection, right? Or there was a lot of conflict and it had you stuck very difficult, very difficult to escape, I want to say, escape this situation. <clears throat> Tell me more, Pisces. Yeah, it's like you're finally seeing reality. You're seeing reality. You're seeing things for what it is with the um, Seven of Cups in reverse. Um... I feel like you're realizing, someone's realizing that there are more, there are more options available. Maybe for some time you felt like there are no other options out there for you. You have no choice. I keep hearing that you have no choice but to stay in this situation. Now you're realizing that's not the case and you're seeing the reality of the situation. Yeah, I feel like for a long time you weren't listening to your intuition with the judgment in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Or you weren't, you just weren't able to make this decision. You were very indecisive about this, about what to do. Maybe you still are. 
with this death in reverse maybe this is your energy maybe you're still um unsure if you're ready to let this go mm. yeah but you want to you want to you want it, you're done with this pain you want to release this you don't want to live in pain anymore i feel like this connection brings a lot of pain or brought a lot of pain a lot of heartbreak I'm also getting that for some of you, somebody here really wants your forgiveness. If this if this person is having a hard time letting it go, I think they are they're dying for your forgiveness. But I mean, we'll get your advice later. Yeah, I think this person is literally up at night. They feel like they've lost an opportunity with you. Woo! Yeah. Wow. Wow. They're not trying to let this go easily, or you. Hmm. What else, please, for Pisces? Tell me more. Pisces. Thank you. Yeah. It's time to be happy, Pisces. It's time to be happy. I feel like this is you badly, badly, badly wanted to have this this happiness in this connection but it's just or you were once upon a time very very happy in this connection but that is not the case anymore hmm. yeah you realize that this is it, it's not what you thought okay you're seeing the reality of the situation it's not what you thought it's not going to last it's not going where you thought it was going to go Okay, there's no stability here. There's no security. There's no long-term success in this. There's not, unfortunately, right? Okay. Okay. Let's get into this um, beautiful community energy for Pisces. Pisces. Let's see who this beautiful support system is for you or what this is talking about for Pisces, please. Pisces. Please let me know in the comments, Pisces, if this is resonating for you so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, that is beautiful. Pisces, I feel like these people around you, they keep you sane <laughs> is what i want to say they keep you sane they keep you mentally strong they you know you know it's like they stop you from going to that dark place in your mind that i feel like these people are actually helping you as well i keep seeing this word escape they're helping you to escape from the situation they help you to find solutions they're really they're just wow beautiful yeah but with the deck queen of cups this is the energy of these people this person around you definitely could be a cancer that's helping you or a gemini or a libra beautiful so that i'm so happy to hear that and if you don't realize that you have this around you pisces you do you have people in your life who care about you so much so I'm hearing they're just a call away and make like any problem you have, they have a solution for you. Any negative self-talk you have, they have positive affirmations to give you. It's like, wow, beautiful. They really, really care about you. Love that. So lean into that, Pisces, and be on the lookout. Like I said, if you don't have these people around you already or you don't realise you do, be on the lookout for that because the universe is sending you people like that. Okay? You're not alone in this situation you're really not alone wow that makes me emotional that's really nice yeah these people are going to help you escape that's all i can keep saying like look at that leaving this situation behind and these people will help you to do that that's really really beautiful yeah I feel like they give you they that they, they keep you what's how can i say this they give you energy like these are people who will literally breathe life into you keep you positive keep you feeling good about the future beautiful and the fact this hasn't come out as a side message this has come out as one of your overall messages for the recent past so this is very important pisces i feel like 
it's important for you to lean into these people right now because they're going to be a really big help for you on this journey don't feel like you have to go through this alone don't push people away really lean into your community right now beautiful wow yeah wow these people pisces will um one second they will help you to find your um your happiness again your personal happiness your personal fulfillment do you know what else i'm getting it's like for some of you with these people around you they are your fulfillment it's like you know your sisterhood your brotherhood the you can find you don't need a romantic connection to make you happy is what i'm hearing when you have friends or family or people like this like love comes in all forms right platonic love can be just as beautiful wow that's gorgeous yeah and this is your card pisces confirmation you can fulfill yourself and your friends your family your support system can fulfill you you don't need this person wow that's emotional beautiful okay let's move into this future appreciation energy let's see what the good stuff is coming towards my pisces for march 2023 clear concise messages please what's coming towards pisces in the near future thank you there you are lovely lovely beautiful trusting yourself again pisces and something oh, wow i feel like for some of you this person for whatever reason they really clouded your judgment and your trust within yourself and that is all changing in the near future look at that the ace of swords and the high priestess absolute mental clarity absolute self-trust being able to hear and trust your own intuition again wow wow that's beautiful. <clears throat> Tell me more, please, for Pisces. Wow. Discovering your truth again. Discovering who you are. What, what do you want? You know, what makes you happy? Who are you outside of this connection? Really discovering that and leaning into it. Yes. Wow. Okay, your, your card again. Wow, this, your readings are always like this, Pisces. They're so powerful because I think the situation is very, very serious. It's like, wow. Your intuition loud and clear once again because you are the most intuitive sign of the zodiac, right? And I think your intuition has been massively thwarted during the situation, but no more. Wow. Wow. beautiful good for you nothing to worry about here pisces this, and this is what i mean yeah wow wow listen three major arcanas this is crazy judgment in reverse wow no longer making poor decisions no longer making decisions that go against your own judgment and your own intuition having your own voice again having no more brain fog no more confusion wow i love this and that is why pisces i feel like when you look back remember i said when you look back at this situation in hindsight i think you will appreciate the fact that it ended you'll be grateful that this ended you might not see it now but in the future you will that's why because everything it's like once you walk away from this everything becomes clear suddenly you look back and you're like oh my god i see it now I see it. I see what these people were trying to tell me. I get it. I couldn't see it back then, but I see it now. It's like waking up from a dream, right? Wow. Wow. So just know that, Pisces, even if it doesn't feel that way right now, lean in to your friends, your family, your supporters. Let them help you. Yeah. No, I can't make it up move on walk away this came out in your last reading and the reading before that it's it's crazy all you have to do is walk away pisces walk away wow 
it's not easy bottom of the deck the tower this might cause a lot of um chaos destruction upheaval it's a big change right for some of you it's, it's not just as simple as saying the, the word i'm leaving you there might be more to it than that right i see that but it's worth it you have to have some strong boundaries pisces you have to make a decision to take a leap of faith and start this new beginning let go let this end wow okay Ooh, i'm not even gonna pull your romance angels because actually do you know what i will because for some of you this may not be a romantic connection right this could be something else so let's pull some love messages to include everyone what's coming towards pisces in love please thank you wow mm -hmm. we have healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents okay and this came out in reverse okay so there may be a need pisces for you to you know what i'm getting um this is random but this is what i'm getting maybe for some of you the reason why you got yourself into this kind of situation in the first place or stayed in this for so long knowing you should have left was because of some kind of past trauma right isn't it always to do with your parents okay the classic abandonment issues mummy issues daddy issues whatever that's what i'm getting from that so it'll be a good time to reflect on that and yeah we have unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Why? Because you're waking up. You are waking up to the truth. I feel like you don't even feel the same about this person anymore. Even if you're still finding it hard to walk away, that's just because it's familiar or because they are manipulative or it's not even, you don't even feel the same anymore. Wow. But of course, bottom of the deck, reconciliation. I feel like this person doesn't want to let you go or they want to reconcile with you. Hmm. wow <laughs> we have calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together and we have your feelings are real and worth exploring so for those of you that this is not pertaining to a romantic connection um regarding love somebody new could have been stirring your feelings that's nice to see tell me more beautiful mm -hmm. we have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost self to each other your bond deepens beautiful so there is definitely a new love on the horizon here and actually this could be for both groups of you those of you where you're going through a breakup and those of you where this is not about uh romance there's new love on the horizon look bottom of the deck you deserve love you are lovable yes know that you deserve how oh my god i can't make it up free yourself it's time to take back control of your life wow wow free yourself pisces it, it's you will know when you do this you will see in the very near future everything will become clear you will literally wake up from this dream or should i say from this nightmare and then baby baby once you get clear clear your energy free yourself look what can come in for you wow 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 beautiful okay what else for pisces general please general messages for pisces pisces thank you can't make it up can't make it up mm -mm 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 -mm. i can't make it up <laughs> we have release may you lay down your burdens mm -hmm. along with soothed wow beautiful may you settle gently even as the wave breaks above wow release this pisces it's like 
I can see it. It's like you're like that says the wave breaks above you, right? You you feel like you're drowning in this situation. The waves are breaking above you, and all you can do is watch it and drown. But may you settle gently. May you know that you are soothed. May you, may you know that you are supported. You are held. Release your burdens. Release them. Let your let people help you, right? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Let's see what the Archangels have for you. <clears throat> Pisces. Archangel messages for Pisces, please. What does Pisces need to know during this time for March 2023? Pisces. Pisces. Thank you. Interesting. <clears throat> Eight of Gabriel. A great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, and important communication. So there's a lot going on around you, Pisces, right now. There's a lot, and there all these owls in the picture, I feel like you've got communication coming in left, right, and center. Probably from your from your um your support system. And this is what I'm saying, don't push people away. Like if your inbox is full because people are like trying to be there for you, don't push them away. It's important that you allow them to help you is what I'm getting from that. But take it how it resonates for you. What else please for Pisces? Thank you. Wow. <laughs> we have the 10 of Gabriel. Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Pisces, I can't make it up. Accept help. Accept help. And then we have page of Ariel. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships or the pursuit of education. Time to get to work. I love that. You have a life to live. Pisces, you have things to do, you have goals to hit, you have things to accomplish, right? You, now you're free to do so. Love that, love that. It's like life beginning again, starting life again on your terms, doing things for you. Oh, love it. Any immunology advice, please, for Pisces? Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, the cards make me laugh. We have your dreams need a practical plan. Okay. Then we have be bold and make the first move. And we have a new romantic cycle begins. Love that, Pisces. It's time to start your life again for yourself. Your dreams need a practical plan. Start thinking about the logistics. Start thinking about what what new life you're going to build after this. What do you want? What are you going to do? And make the move. Be bold. Go after what you want, okay? And for some of you, when this new romantic cycle begins, <laughs> which it will once you clear your energy so that it can come in, be bold. It says make the first move. That's up to you. You have free will. I hope this helps you, Pisces. Please let me know in the comments if this has resonated for you. I wish you a beautiful, beautiful month ahead. And I will see you in the next reading. Bye.